understanding of how the human memory works. I would actually having developed what you call a trained memory in such a way that I could share it in a very memorably quintessential experience that you would so much enjoy now. Well, in a more engaging and interactive manner. So let's put it this way. The feed I'll be trying to demonstrate before you is something you can very much relate with. Um, I've been able to develop what you call, uh, or like I say, the ability to tell the day of almost any date you can so verify or would want to know. So for instance, today happens to be what place? What's today's date? 25th November 2017. And today's what? Saturday. So preferably, this happens to be someone's memorable day. Of course, for me too, as I stand before you. Or probably, I would say, consider probably a birthday or an anniversary, an event that has occurred quite recently. So I'm going to take it in a very progressive manner. Um, this year for a start, that's 2017. So this is what you're going to do for me. You give me, just like you said now, today is what, 25th, right? November 2017. I already know it's 2017. So you're going to give me the day number and the month. So I'll try as much as possible to tell you what day of the week that day falls on. Is that clear, please? Is that clear? Yeah. All right, so who's going first? Just a few. And please, I would want you to be sure of the date. Of course, I'm a human being. I'll try as much as possible to get it exactly right. December? Uh, December 23rd. 23rd, that should be a Saturday. December 3rd. Sorry. December 3rd. December 3rd, this year happens to be Sunday. All right, one more. June 11, Sunday. Sorry, you're going to take it one after the other. You saw what? October 29. October 29, Sunday. Uh, why are you giving me Sunday? Uh, 9th of May. Uh, 9th of May. That should be a Tuesday. Wow. Sorry? Uh, February 7, this year happens to be a Tuesday, too. Anyone more? Uh, sorry, take it in this order, as I said earlier. Uh, the month, then the day. Sorry. One month. August 30th. That should be a Wednesday. <laughs> exactly. All right. September 20th. That should be a Wednesday. December 13th. That should be a Wednesday. October. Sorry, I'm going to take one. Which one am I going with? December 5th, Tuesday. Uh, April 1st. April 1st. This year should be a Saturday like today. October 14, like today to Saturday. <laughs> All right, please. <laughs> All right, I, I will try as much as possible to. Uh, like I said, I'm going to make it a little bit progressive. So I just consider this year for a start. I'd like to try probably. Um, let's say in the 20th century, that's 1900 or there about, but I need to be with your phone if you're not so sure what date is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do now. Hold on a minute, please. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Let's assume someone here was born, let's say, in the 1990. Of course, that's the category I'm considering now. Then you give me the month like we've done just likewise here, and the day. So I'll tell you, like I did previously, what day of the week that day falls on. So it's more like a birthday, or anniversary, or any event you can so much very far remember. So are you going to take it this way? The year, the month, and the day number. The year. The year, please. 1990 December. Fifth, Wednesday. Nineteen eighty-five. January fifth, Saturday. Yeah, nineteen ninety-two. Yes. Nineteen ninety-two, May fourteen, Thursday. Oh, sorry, nineteen eighty-eight. April 26, that should be a Tuesday. Yes, one more. 
1997, August Monday. 90 what? 1992 March. 1992 March what? March. A Wednesday. All right. Uh, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Sorry, before I before. 1993. 1993 what? 1993 May 9. A Saturday like today. Sorry, yes? 1967. I'll, I'll take the loudest or closer. 19 what? 1967. 1967. Quite, 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 quite a bit far. I'll try. 1960 what? 1967, what month? February 29. That should be a Wednesday. <laughs> Forgive me. That's allowed. I forgot to recognize that that's probably, hold on, I know, you're allowed to play around. <laughs> you're allowed to play around. You know, hold on, for a minute I had to pause because I sort of did not recognize that you were calling not a leap here. Yeah, gotcha. You're allowed to. Of course, I'm human, but I'm not a machine. All right, now, this is what I'm going to try to do now. Please, if you have your phones online, um, I want to try a few dates as far back as any four digit year. So somehow your phone may not have those dates right at this moment. So you can get to check after now. So this is what it looks like. Just like 1990, like someone gave me, or like I said, that's a four digit year, right? 1990. So you give me a random four digit year. Probably have to take one each person. Who's going to need just four hands up, please? Four hands up. One, another one, two, third one, three, four. So you pick a number and say it out loud. I'll take it as a first. Just a digit. A digit. Five. Yes. Five, two. Yes. Seven. Then who's taking the last one? Five, two, seven, nine. Please, if you can go online, you check this here. Five, two, seven, nine. And that should be, then the month, please. Which am I going with? All right, I'll go with me. Five, two, seven, nine. May. Then a day, please. A day, just a day, random day, probably in 30 days. Of course, me has 30 days. Todd, if you get to check, you should find what you have as um, a wetness day. So you're considering years far from now, probably in the next, um, how many years will I say? How many centuries? Probably that should be around 30 centuries from now. So just in case, if you still have that in mind, let's try one more. Can we? Hello, can we try one more? All right, try and confirm this, let me see. 5279, what was the month? May, right? Five two seven nine May what? Todd, yes. And I said the witness day. Five two seven nine. <laughs> okay, to wrap it all up, a random date from the audience. And um, before you do that, you would try telling me what you remember that date as. Uh, because the essence of me doing this is to help you, of course, remember. I'm not hoping it's a bad event, but remember such experiences right as you sit, right as you sit down. Of course, I knew you tried telling me a birthday if that's your choice. Or something far from being a birthday. And you tell me what exactly you remember that they asked. Can we do that? Hello, is that clear? You tell me what the experience you have in respect of the days you're going to be giving me. So I'll tell you like I did. Although the difference here is, of course, you remember something. <laughs> Sorry, please, let's take it this order. You give me the experience, then you tell me the day. It's clock starry. 1992. Okay. Wednesday. Thank you so much. <laughs>